Welcome to my channel History by Gone. Today we are going to discuss etiquette, habit and culture related to Indian foods. India stands as one of the most diverse country in the world, a subcontinent that is home to over 100 plus languages, over 700 plus tribes and every major religion. Some cities are largest populated in the world and same time few are isolated as almost no societies. In India over the century there have been a significant fusion of cultures between religions like Buddhist, Hindus, Muslim, Jain, Sikhs and various tribal populations. India also known for birthplace of many religions like Hinduism, Buddhism, Sikhism and other religions. India is socially, culturally and linguistically remarkably diverse. Other than Hindi and English, there are 22 plus scheduled languages recognized by the Indian constitution. However, there are another 400 known and unknown languages spoken in India. India is socially, culturally and linguistically diverse. In this present video, we will see aspects of Indian foods and etiquettes, which is perfect mix of ancient values and Western culture. India was part of British Kingdom for many years and as a result, our population was strongly influenced by the British style of etiquettes and habits. But same time, we kept our roots alive, which created an incredibly unique combination of Asian and Western culture. We will learn more about Indian habits and trends on food and related etiquettes. Most of the Indian values, culture and foods are based on our religious beliefs. In this video, we will be discussing Indian foods, habits and etiquettes. Dining etiquette in our country varies from place to place different income levels, religion to religion, and caste to caste. This is different from other countries. Even within India, these eating habits vary from state to state. Traditionally, Indians wash their hands thoroughly prior to dining, then eat with fingers of right hand with the use of minimum cutlery. In North India, it is a bad manner to use more than first finger and thumb as they eat mostly chapatis and dry curries. While at the same time, South Indians use more rice and wet curries and it creates scope of using whole hands. In both cases, they try not to use their left hands. As per Indian etiquette, this is usually considered unclean and offensive too. The left hand is kept clean and sometimes used for things like holding a glass or plates if you are eating in a standing position. Indian believe that eating with your hands give you the feel of food and eating with spoon or fork adds a metallic taste to the food. So if you are attending any ceremony or occasion, wash your hands before eating or serving food. Besides, you can use your right hand when giving or accepting any object. And to use both hands is even more respectful while passing objects. Eating with your hands has many benefits. Fingers being hit revocates. They prevent your mouth from burning when the hot food is put inside. Other than that, you tend to eat slower when you dine with your hands and this adds in digestions. One must thoroughly wash hands with soap and water before eating. This practice makes the eating process very hygienic. Indians treat their guests with utmost respect and hospitality. Atithi Devo Bhava is a motto that almost all Indian follows with utmost dedication and compassion. Hospitality is valued by all religion, whether Hindu, Muslims or Sikhs. 
Hindus are taught to treat a guest as a god. Providing hospitality is an important responsibility for every Muslim. Even the poorest of the poor treat their guests to all kinds of luxuries. Serving langar to large crowds on daily basis is very common practice in Sikhism at Gurudwaras. Sweets, flower or fruits are common as gift while visiting any ceremony or parties. People usually don't open their gifts in the presence of gift givers. Gift of money with odd number are thought to be auspicious. Indians typically have a relaxed approach towards timekeeping and punctuality. If you invite someone, Indian origin friend, do not be surprised if they are late and bring along some friends. In traditional Indian homes, people mostly sit on low seats or on the floor. Man may sit with leg crossed in Indian style or folded to one side. Women sit with leg off to one side while having their foods. Many Indians don't eat on plates, especially in southern part of country. They like to eat on a banana leaves, disposable leaves, bowls and red clay cups are very common in villages of India. At some homes, a guest is served while everyone sit around. Often the men eat first while the women serve them. Same time in Muslim, they often eat communally from the same bowl or same big plate. A typical meal in India may include a variety of dishes. Different dishes such as meat, lentils, rice, vegetable and breads are placed in different size of bowls and thalis. After the meal is over, guests are given a towel and expected to wash hands at sink. After meal, many Indians have pan rather than sweets or desserts. In some places, rock sugar or roasted sugar flavored fennel seeds are offered as a breath freshener or host serve their guest a cup of tea or coffee. If any Indian use cutlery, they use in British style, spoon in their right hand and fork in their left hand and push food with the fork on the spoon and eat with their right hand using the spoon. Same time in India, many restaurants do not have any utensils at all to offer to their customers and after meal restaurants offer water pitchers or finger bowl at their table to clean their guest hands. In most of the rural area in India, even in present days, water cooled in natural ways in clay pots and guests are offered a glass of water when they arrive. Most of Indian in present day also tilt their head back and pour water in their mouths with their lips not touching the glasses. While in many of urban places in India, sometimes alcohol is also offered to guests before the meal or if not alcohol, then in alternate they may offer soft drink, tea or coffee. Throughout the nation, our meal consists mostly of rice, wheat and roasted Bengal gram or some other pulses. You find the maximum of vegetarian food in Gujarat, Rajasthan and the southern part of the country. While you will find mostly non-vegetarian dishes from the central part of geography, Bengal and in all part of northern India. It is also interesting to know that the cooking style of Central Asia, Persia and Afghanistan has strongly influenced the specific cuisines of Kashmir. Every caste, tribe, town, village and religions have a panoply of traditional ceremonies that are observed with the enthusiasm and wide participations. Here are some important points to be taken care 
or while having food at home or at any celebration. Fire is sacred, so generally guests are not invited into any kitchen and should never throw anything into the fire. Don't spit or stubbing cigarette anywhere. Find the nearest bathroom to spit or an ashtray to stab the cigarette. More unpleasant habits like bleaching loudly, gargling after a meal, and making odd noise while eating need to be avoided. Indians typically offer lots of food, but it is also considered rude to leave food on your plate. Do not smoke in front of any person who belongs to the Sikh community. Served in a hierarchical order, guest of honor, men and then kids or women. Do not make much noise or do not talk with food in your mouth. Do not talk on your cell phone during the meal and if you must go bit up in between, ask to be excused. Cuisine and food in India are not only integral to the culture of India, but they also been significant contributor to India. Help to clear the dishes unless it is not acceptable in that customs. Cuisines and food in India are not only integral to the culture of India, but they have also been significant contributor to India's popularity worldwide. While the cooking style varies from region to region, Indian food has universal appeal for its extensive use of spice and herb. Like Indian dance, religion, practice, language and clothes, you will also find a great diversity of food throughout the country. Even region of a country is famous for a particular dish and ingredients. Once again, on behalf of Mr. Baigan, thanks for viewing my videos. Further, I request you all to like and subscribe my channel, History Baigan.